the housing market that was at the center of the meltdown. Well, parts of it are now surging. Last month, new home construction was up 15 percent. That's a four-year high. And ABC's Matt Gutman reporting tonight on the new building boom right here at Ground Zero in Florida. My Dallas McDonald needed just one look. I fall in love immediately as soon as I saw this house. Consider it the new American Dream House, both downsized and supersized. You see, her new tidy three-bedroom house is just 1,800 square feet, down 500 square feet from your average house built before the recession. But it is a full house populated by three generations of McDonald's, plus Paige the dog. The price was right. $143,000, a mortgage of just $1,200 a month. And half it the price. was half the price. Wow. Mydellis is one of the buyers fueling the demand for new construction. We've seen a, over a 20% increase in sales from year over year. And that in one of the state's hardest hit by the housing bust. Much of the growth is fueled by record low mortgage rates and pent up demand for new homes. And of course, the price. How much would that have been five years ago? Five years ago, that home probably would have been in the high 200s. Twice the price. Mydella specifically sought a house to accommodate her parents. We are a very um, united family and we all cooperate. In fact, multi-generational homes are in such demand that Miami-based Lennar has rolled out NextGen, a house specifically designed for three generations. They've been selling these homes at a pace that's up to three times faster than just a couple of years ago. And that surge in housing starts is arguably the best economic news in years, David. But is it soon enough and big enough to help President Obama win the biggest battleground prize of them all, Florida?